hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all Everybody's talking about Rick Ross today. <laughs> y'all, 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 these, they cannot stay out of the news, can they, y'all? You would think they'll try to be on the news for good stuff sometimes, but never nothing good. Um, Rick Ross is a rapper, y'all, if you don't know. He's a rapper. He used to be a security guard, and he started rapping. And now, you know, he owns a bunch of wing stops. And it looked like he owned a bunch of wing stops too, y'all. Is he eating all of his food? Ask yourself this question. Um, he's in trouble, y'all. Last time I heard some news on him, he was banning a bunch of farm animals, cows, and stuff like this. So I was like, well, maybe he's investing good with his money. But um, they're saying that, you know, he's not a good boss, y'all. Okay. And the feds have stepped in to fine him over $100,000 for labor violations and stuff like that at the restaurants, y'all. And this is going on in Mississippi, y'all, okay? He has been fined by the Department of Labor's Wage and Hour Division for several violations at five different um, wing stop locations in Mississippi, y'all. Um... They're saying that him and his family, so I guess his family helps him run the businesses. And they're saying that they're forcing their workers to illegally pay for a uniform. They make, wow, Rick, for real? You making your, okay. So they're making them illegally pay for uniforms. So he's supposed to pay for the uniforms, but he's making them do it. Um, he's making them pay for safety training. Now, when you go to a job, they're supposed to train you. If if they're going to train you, that's supposed to be on them, okay? But, I mean, some places do, but they still pay a portion or something like that. But uh, I guess in Mississippi, where this happening at, he's supposed to pay for the training. Um, He made them pay for their own background checks. <laughs> wow. So they have to pay for their own background check. And if they have any, you know, shortages in the cash register, they have to pay that back, too. So he ain't taking no losses. If your registering adding up, Rick Ross is in your pockets, okay? Now, the Labor Department also discovered that they've been illegally deducting money from employees' wages as well, y'all. From their wages, okay? Leaving some with take-home pay under seven dollars and 25 cents an hour y'all so i guess minimum wage that went up so he is cheating his employees he looked like he greedy he looked like he's greedy like that and nobody would want to really work with him wow rick ross now he's running around and talking about he the biggest boss and then you you ain't the biggest boss as far as money wise you're the biggest boss because you're the biggest boss she eating all the chicken <laughs> <laughs> Why did I throw that in there? <laughs> My bad, y'all. Investigators later learned that a 15-year-old illegally worked past 10 o'clock at night, y'all, in June of 2021. <sighs> Under federal law, they're saying that teens are not allowed to work past 7 p.m. Oh, my Lord. So, wow, Ricky, Ricky. Re restaurant industry employees work hard, often for low wages, and many depend on every dollar earned to make ends meet. Jackson's Wade and our division director, Audrey Hall, said in a statement that the law prevents Boss Wing Inter Enterprises, LLC, from shifting operating costs to the workers or to allow a workers to pay to fall below minimum wage rate. So he's cheating people out of their money at Wingstop. I've never ate at Wingstop. 
Y'all let me know if we ain't stop got some good food. Because I've never ate there. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Business records filed with the state list Rick Ross, his older sister and assistant, Tawanda Roberts, and mother, Tommy Roberts. On the Boss Wings Enterprise LLC roster. The Department of Labor fined the franchise company a total of $62,753 in civil penalties and recovered $51,674 in wages owed to 244 workers across the five stores. Now, this is just not breaking in the news now, so it's probably going to be more. Because they, if they were doing that in Mississippi, he don't he got wing places all over the place, y'all? Are they doing that everywhere else? Is more people going to come forward? I do believe so. Meanwhile, the DOC press release um, it up with um, the operator of five wing stop franchise locations in Mississippi who made employees pay for their uniforms, safety training, background checks, cash register um, shortages, the violated child labor regulations has been held accountable by the u.s department of labor and paid 114 thousand dollars 427 dollars in back wages liquidated damages and civil penalties hmm so they about to hit the wingman's pockets up y'all wing stop distance itself from boss wings LLC. Okay. So all the wing stops do not belong to him. Only certain ones. And they are distancing themselves from him because they don't want to be in this mess. And in a statement, the restaurants investigated by the DOL are owned and operated, operated by a franchise, not wing stop restaurants, Inc. Mm. Our franchise agreement requires all of our franchises to operate under our operating standards which requires compliance with all laws and regulations we were not previously aware of the dol action against boss wings so he he is not he's not really there um under their wings he his name is boss wings but i guess you know maybe he did that so that that he could pull their little franchise and make it seem you know like it was them and it's him. Ring, it says he opened up his first wing style restaurant in Memphis over 10 years ago. And owns at least 25 of them. Wow. 25 wing stops. He looked like he would own a restaurant, y'all. A whole bunch of them. He just probably leave from one and go to the other. In 2014, it was reported he ranked in an estimated $7 million from his Wingstop investments. That's good. Last September, he gifted a Wingstop franchise to his son for his 16th birthday. That's, that's amazing. You know, he is leaving a legacy for his kids. But it shouldn't be off of the back of his employees, y'all. And he could pay them more money. If you breaking in that type of money, you could you could pay your employees more money. And they're the ones doing all the work. I'm just saying. That's a lot of work. That uh, the People that work in the restaurants do a lot of work. Like McDonald's and Popeye's and all these different places. They do a lot of work. They got to clean down the equipment. They got to cook. They got to serve everybody. You got to stay on the schedule. It's, it's a lot of work. And I often wonder, like, why do people that sit in offices doing nothing answer the phone a little bit and talk a little bit and do a little paperwork, make a copy here and there? Why do they get paid so much money? And then the people that's doing most of the work, they're the ones that's getting paid the least. And I don't be understanding that, y'all. It's just seems like everything is backwards in our world right now. Everything is backwards. The more work you do, the more body aches you you feel before you you know when you get off of work, that be should be the higher your pay. Not somebody that just sits on their tail and play with their nails and you know on, at a desk and you're not doing much. I don't. I never could understand that. Never could. 
But anyway, I have to just let y'all know that, uh, you know, the feds is after Rick Ross's money, y'all. And they should be. If you're cheating all your employees and all of that stuff, you should get fined for it. Because if anybody knows the struggle that, you know, African Americans have, it's another African American. Okay? He, he's no different. He used to work as security. So he know these jobs don't pay much. And now you're going to become a franchise owner. And you're going to treat your, your employees like that. And you got fans out here. So that's sad that you d this type of boss. Okay, y'all? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Peace.